What's going on everyone? My name is Ralph West and you're watching Those Paintball Guys. And today we're here to test two different types of guns and to show you guys that sometimes spending more money doesn't mean that your gun is much better or you're gonna perform much better in the field. For that, I have an entry-level gun and I have an intermediate-level gun. Both are electronic and uh, they shoot pretty fast. So the black one is the Eta 3. So this one is from more paintball guy, Eddie. And he rocks this thing in a field, man. And sometimes when I hear him ripping this thing off, I'm like, where did this come from? So I know for a fact that he plays really well with this. Although it was about, I would say 500 bucks. You can get a brand new one. Yeah, just to go to show that you don't need to, to break the bank to be competitive in the field. So we're gonna shoot a couple rounds of this thing and see how it performs. All right, the first one. Oh man, this thing is smooth. <laughs> So as you guys can see, very accurate. Headshots all day long, baby. So yeah, I really like it. He's rocking a 68 4500 tank. Uh, this should last you the whole game. I would say up to three rounds, maybe six pods and the hopper. And it should be more than enough for you to shoot around. So let's sit this baby aside and let's pick up the Shocker AMP which is a limited edition from Shocker. Um, they only made 200 of these guys. It is called the Red Splash. Got all the bells and whistles. Um, we rock the peanut tank on this one, which is a 48-45. All right, so this guy is a 48-45 peanut tank. Because this gun is a little bit more air efficient, I can get away with a smaller tank, but it still shoots I would say about four pods and I would say five pods in a hopper. Uh, so let's pick this guy up and see how he plays. So overall, a little lighter. That's a personal option, um, per personal preference. I like it small as well. So that's why I rock the peanut. And this one is my personal gun and I love it. Let's let this thing rip. Pretty smooth. I gotta tell you, I don't think it shoots as straight as this guy. <laughs> so it kind of goes to show that the more money you spend, uh, not necessarily you're gonna have something that shoots better uh, or shoots farther. So it is really about a personal uh, opinion. I mean, personal preference. This guy's got a little uh, uh, smaller handle, so some people like him bigger. I don't wrap all the way around, so I just grab to the side like this, which gives me a plenty, plenty room to, to get a grip of it. It also has this little strips on top that makes, makes it easier to hold. So all in all, both are pretty good guns. The difference is Eddie saved on about 700 bucks over me. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, it, to me, it's for the style, the way it shoots, and uh, yeah, just uh, prove the concept of you can get in the field, be competitive, get most of their teams out with $500 gun versus a $1,300 gun. So you guys make your call, and you can always improve all the way up. Uh, depending on your style, depending on you like to play. So yeah, thanks for watching. I really hope you guys like the content. And if you like to see any other stuff, just comment below. Don't forget to drop the likes, follow, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the field.